coach. Um, I think that you'll probably write home about the defense in this game, but you guys were able to gut this one out late in the game. And, and how do you summarize what you saw? Today? Yeah, I would agree. I thought for the first three quarters, uh, didn't really like our team a whole lot. You know, our defense, attention to detail, lack of communication. Uh, just a lot of defensive breakdowns uh, that were kind of driving me crazy a little bit. Uh, but I give our guys credit. Fourth quarter guy came around and held them 24 points and 36 from the field. Uh, so we finally got defense into the game late, uh, which was great. Uh, and then offensively, to have, I think, 36 assists on 44 field goals, only nine turnovers is phenomenal. The ball was moving. Guys were making plays for each other. Uh, Jim, obviously, Nicola had a, another triple-double. Great night for him. Uh, and I thought Malik Beasley off the bench was phenomenal. Shot the ball well, made big plays. And Paul Millsap down the stretch, man. He you know, had a hard time making free throws tonight, but he came up big in a couple of big scenarios. So it uh, wasn't a real, real pretty win, but we'll take it. Let's dive a little bit more into Paul Millsap. Just, uh, you know, I know he's talked about a little bit of rust after the Phoenix game, but uh, he looked like he knocked a lot of that off today. Uh, I mean, 16 and 9. Uh, and then one, you, you could see as the game went on, he, he was finding his rhythm. He's finding his comfort level, his confidence. Um, you know, he'll make those free throws moving forward. But I was just happy to see his defense, his rebounding, his activity, and, and just kind of getting this game under his belt in the altitude. So uh, it was great to have him and Gary back. Obviously, uh, you know, for those guys that have missed time, it's not going to happen right away. Um, but, you know, Paul made a significant improvement tonight. And I have no doubt that Gary will move him forward. Yeah, um, and with Malik Beasley, I think this is his third 20-point game in his last four. Mm -hmm. Just how high is your confidence in him right now? Yeah, well, right now, whenever he shoots the ball, I think it's going in. Uh, he's shooting uh, the ball extremely well, very consistently. Um, you know, he's working hard on the defensive end. And what I'm most proud about, when you look at his line tonight, 23 points, 5 of 9 from 3, but 5 assists and 6 rebounds. Now, that is a complete game. So it's more than just his shooting and 3-point makes, but it's also the ability to play make and also his ability to rebound the ball. So uh, really, uh, just overall, a real solid game for, for me. What, what aspect of Nicolio just triple-double stands out to you? I mean, just is it commonplace at this point, or, you know, what, what, I mean, what's the, remarkable about it? I mean, it's somewhat commonplace. I mean, he's that's what he does. But I would say the 15 assists, um, you know, they were blitzing. They were very aggressive in pick and rolls. And when teams are putting two on the ball, you got to make quick decisions. Uh, and we were able to do that, and guys stepped up and made shots. So uh, I, I think 15 assists for him, uh, five turnovers, three to one ratio is pretty good. And the rebounding, I mean, we, we won the rebounding by 10, and he had uh, 14 of those uh, rebounds for us. If you ask uh, Malik about his jump roll save, he worked on you know, having better balance this summer. Um, what are you seeing from him just going straight up and down and can't get that jumper? I'm seeing the ball go in. That's all I care about. Whether you're going straight up and down, fading to the left, fading to the right, make shots. Uh, so make a miss league. If you want to be a good shooting guard in this NBA, you got to be able to make shots consistently. And that's the one thing that I think Malik had a little trouble last year was just consistency. And the time he put in this summer into his craft, into his jump shot, has paid off. As uh, Dempsey said, three 20-point games in the last four games, shooting into a big basket right now. And uh, happy for him because all that hard work has paid off. In the grind of a long NBA season, when you win a game where you don't necessarily have your A game, is that maturity? Is it something else? What, what allows you to do that? You know, to give one like this. Yeah, well, it's two games in a row where I don't think we played great basketball for long stretches. Obviously, Phoenix was a game where we we're up 25 and then up 22 in the fourth and allowed it to get down to a three point game. Uh, right now, my biggest frustration, kids, is just uh, too many instances of a lack of discipline, a lack of communication. Uh, but when you can win games and you're not playing your best, it speaks to having guys like Nikola Jokic uh, who can step up and bail you out and make big plays. Uh, and when you can rely on your defense late to get timely stops and rebounds, you're going to give yourself a chance. And I think that's a sign of growth. I don't know if we win these games last year. I don't know if we hang around and say, okay, we know we can turn it on in the fourth quarter. We can get the timely stops and we can execute late down the stretch with our go-to sets. And uh, we've been able to do that because I, I, once again, um, I'm trying to make, you know, really remain positive here because we won, but there's so much to learn and clean up from tonight. It was not a very clean game and we have to be better. You have a lot of losses to learn, to get this thing to learn over the years. How do you do that if you don't have that kind of learning moment that a loss provides you? How do you? Oh, just, I mean, we'll, we'll watch film tomorrow, just like we did after the Phoenix game. 
of uh, learning how to play with the lead. Uh, that was in Phoenix tonight. It's, you know, we, late game, we run a play, we score, we come right back down, and we don't run it. Somebody's breaking off the plate. Let's get creative. That's not the time to get creative. That's the time to execute and be disciplined and have poise under pressure. And again, I, I have to remind myself of how young we are, but for us, Matt, the biggest thing is you know, we have to learn through film. Um, I'd much rather learn, teach, clean up after ugly wins than I would after tough losses. So that's, that's the positive. We're finding ways to win when maybe we're not playing our A game. And uh, as we get healthy, you know, hopefully that'll help us out as well. Defensively, is the discipline that you mentioned a second ago the biggest reason you can point to as to why defense has kind of fallen off here a little over the month of December? Yeah, I'd say discipline slash uh, communication. And we always talk about how communication is concentration. We had breakdowns tonight from the beginning of the game to late where two guys go with one guy and there's a guy wide open. Uh, we leave a guy in the corner who's a shooter, Luke Cornett. How many threes did Luke Cornett hit tonight? He goes four of seven. You know, we're supposed to take him off the three-point line. Uh, in the Phoenix game, Bridges, Warren, we're supposed to take him off the three-point line. They go eight of 16. So I don't like our discipline and I don't like our communication right now or lack thereof because there's too many blown assignments right now. We've got to tighten that up because this month, I mean, starting tonight, 11 games, 19 days, this is going to be a really tough month for us. And uh, we have to make sure we're giving ourselves every chance every single night by being disciplined and by communicating. One more. Thank you. That's all we